Gan review. Gan review. Gan review. Greetings, Face Barmy the Third here. Analyst, critic, capraologist. Today we're here to answer the questions that actually matter when it comes to Gan Yu. While most are asking, how much damage does she do? Is she a main DPS or is she support? I'm sat here waiting for the actual useful reviews. Alas, they never came, so I've decided to step up to the podium and give you the real important facts and analysis of the Coco Goat. First up, locomotion. What is locomotion, I hear you ask? Is it the ability to move from one place to another? Yes, basically, walking. We're going to review her walk. What's the point, I hear you ask? Well, that is simple. 99% of what you will be doing with Ganyu is walking. How can you argue that that isn't the most important thing? As a point of reference, we will be comparing her to Amber, as she is the litmus test for a good character. Get out of here, Granny. Go on, Granny, get out of here. You're in the walkway. Go on. First up, walking, and it appears they walk exactly the same. Second up, running, and it appears they run exactly the same. Third up, sprinting, and it appears they sprint exactly the... So to conclude, Ganyu's walking and running is on equal footing to Amber's. However, she appears to have an edge when it comes to sprinting. And for this reason, I give her an Angora Goat out of 10. Moving on. Aviation. All characters in Genshin have the ability to glide. So once again, we will compare her to Amber. Crunching the numbers, it appears Amber is capable of maintaining flight for much longer, up to 20% no less. However, Ganyu offers a more educational experience. So because of that, I will give her an eagle goat out of 10. Did you know eagle goats are the fastest flying mammals on the planet? Unfortunately, 99% of eagle goats do not survive their first flight. That is the price they pay for their immense speed. Next up, climbing. Some goats are better climbers than others, so we need to check her capability to conquer mountains. After some thorough examination, it appears she climbs at the same speed as Amber. Just like her aviation tests, her climbing offers a good degree of schooling. For this, I reward her a mountain goat out of 10. It is said that goats are not the most masterful of swimmers. However, it is still important we test her capabilities. Her swimming style is once again very similar to Amber's. However, the extra information it supplies raises it above. I reward this a whale goat out of 10. The whale goat's Latin name is Magus Pecunium Quam Census. Frolicking. Goats are majestic animals that often frolic in the wild. So it is important we review her ability to prance during her attacks. Once again, Amber is our comparison. It appears Ganyu has much more flair in her prance abilities. Her last move also offers a lot of tuition, making her the superior pick if you're here to learn. So I will give her a Nigerian Dwarf Goat out of 10. So why are we at Mondstadt you ask? Well, somebody told me that Ganyu has the best ability to ruin Timmy's day. So now, we're going to review Ganyu's ability to ruin Timmy's day. It appears we upset Timmy so much that he ran away. So for the Timmy bird murder test, I reward her a saber tooth goat out of 10. Finally, goats in legend are known for their ability to slay dragons. So we have brought her here 
to storm Terra's lair to slay a dragon. Once again, Amber will be our control to measure against. It appears Ganyu's dragon slaying abilities far exceed Amber's. Due to this remarkable performance, I reward Ganyu a Saint Goat out of 10. After tallying up the scores and putting the results through an extremely convoluted mathematical formula to give us the final score, Ganyu has been rewarded a mythical giraffe out of 5 stars. I hope this review will be useful to all those who are still unsure if they should summon on her banner. As for me, Ganyu is going to help me with my taxes. Face Palmy the Third, out. <laughs>